hello and welcome to my channel today i decided to create a makeup look with some makeup that i have heard other people recommend um or i have used it before and i just think it's something i enjoy so i'm going to start with the eyes and i have already used my concealer and powdered it down for the base so let's jump into the eyeshadow look first okay so i have heard a few makeup and beauty creators talk about the pacifica animal magic eyeshadow palette so i did grab this and i wanted to create a look with it today so that is is what this palette color story looks like i'm gonna do something neutral ish but i'm gonna also use this pop of green because i think it's beautiful and i'm wearing green so it just works for the day so i'm gonna start with the shade stag on the elf j kissa j3 brush Now I'm going to go into the shade Fox. These do seem to blend and apply rather effortlessly thus far. So, very beautiful. Clean up on the inner crease area. Now I'm going to go into Bobcat on an e.l.f. Game Up brush from that collection. Going out in the outer crease and the outer corner of the eye. Going back in with the Pro Fusion brush. And the shade box shade just to blend between the two. I'm just going to jump into the horse shade here, the ColourPop E28. Just going to bring this corner here. Touch a bobcat to blend between. Not really adding anything on this brush, just using what was there. Okay, I'm gonna go into Buffalo Tiger, possibly Wolf. Those look like a really pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to take I'm going to take Dragon. Okay, so I'm just going to finish this eye, and I will be back. Okay, so that is. The eyeshadow finish. I decided to grab the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I have heard many people love this. I love it too. And when I heard it was back out, I was excited to have that again. So that's going to be the primer 
I use today. All right, so I have heard good things about the Cover Girl Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence uh, Hydrate Hydro Fresh Tint. This is in 10 Fair. Um, this was a recommendation from Jessica Dearly, so I decided to try it. I picked this one up on Amazon, so I usually just put it on the back of my hand. And then I just swirl it with the brush and then apply. So I'm just going to grab a sponge and just, okay, so I'm just going to finish blending that with the sponge. Okay. Hmm. I'm just going to apply some concealer and color corrector and I'll be back. Okay, so I prefer this with a brush more so than with a sponge. I will say that there was some just lines from applying it. So I did try to use the sponge to blend that. I don't know if I like that. I'm also not sure if it's because of this, because I have used this a few times, but with different primers and different things so i'm not really sure if it's just this primer and that not working together or what have you so i wanted to just go through what i did use for my color corrector i used the elf camo color corrector in peach i do think this is a good color corrector at least for beneath my eyes i also used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 10 Fair. I didn't really love this concealer the first time I used this, but a few other content creators, beauty and makeup creators had said it was a favorite, so I kind of gave it a shot again. I do actually like it more than I did the first time. I think that just could be how I apply things now, what I use differently, that kind of thing. I don't think that, that it was the concealer necessarily's fault. I also used the Baby Got Blush, or Baby Got Bronze, uh, from Essence in 10 Cinnamon Spice. I do think this is a beautiful bronzer and I have heard a lot of people including myself who love it. Now I'm going to try the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush. This is in Peach Perfect. I have heard nothing but good about these uh, liquid blushes. I have used this 
peach shade a couple of times and I do think it is a beautiful blush. So I thought I would use that for today. Times the shade. I think it would work really well with the eye look today, so. All right, all right. I think that is a beautiful cheek color for the look. I'm just going to set my face and finish my brows and I'm gonna come back. Okay, so I finished my brows. I did use the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in taupe. Um, this is one that I purchased from other people's recommendations. I'm not sure exactly who um, I also lined my eyes uh, for this part here I used the Aerosoli Ojos Perfectos gel pencil eyeliner in Sangria for the green right here is the Beauty for Real Eyeline 24 7 gel eyeliner in olive. Beneath the eye, I'm just going to take the Essence Blend and Line eyeshadow stick in 03 Feeling Leafy and 02 Oh My Ruby. I did hear of these from some other creators on Instagram, I believe. And I do think they are pretty. And blend them out. Okay. So I'm going to add mascara and then we're going to work on the lip. Okay. So I just applied mascara. I used the Essence Lash Without Limits Brown Extreme Lengthening and Volume Mascara. I think this is a really nice mascara. I slightly like this more than I like the Lash Princess mascara. Um, I like this a little more than that. I feel like this one lengthens and volumizes just a little more for me. I think both are really good, but that's, I, I'm not sure if other creators are liking this or not, but I am, I am, so, is that my E? There we go. So, for the lip, I'm going to do the e.l.f., this is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop glow reviver lip oil um i have tried quite a few of these i have heard a lot of people love them i love them so when i seen that they had this version i decided to try it as well and i thought it would kind of work together with the look today so that is what that looks like.
Okay. It has a really beautiful shimmer to it. I think this is fun and it smells and slightly tastes like watermelon. So I think that's really an interesting addition to the Glow Reviver Lip Oil collection they have. So this is the finished and final makeup look. I used with quite a few things that other people have talked positively about or have loved. So I decided why not create a makeup look based on that. A few of these are just ones that I personally have loved, like the Jelly Pop Dew Primer. Now today I will say some of the foundation just did not look quite right after using this, and I don't know if that is this or the combination of the foundation and this together. I'm not sure. I have to use this more and use this more to be able to for sure say. And that's probably true with anything from this. But yeah, I enjoyed trying some things that other people have been talking about or have loved and I just wanted to kind of create a makeup look based on that. I also really just wanted to make a makeup look with a green in that inner corner and then a warm neutral on the rest of the eye. And I just feel that that would be fun. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I thank you so much for doing so. I do ask if you would like to subscribe, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification if you would like to be notified when I do upload. Um, that's completely up to you, of course, but I do hope that you enjoy and I hope you have a wonderful day. I thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye!